Um, so my name is Zoe Jewell and my partner Sky Alibi. Together we run a, a wildlife conservation organisation called Wild Track, which is um, specifically um, interested in non-invasive monitoring of endangered species. And we're here at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida today to collect footprints from tigers um, for the development of a database to identify these animals in the wild. And we're here basically to, to show um, members of staff, uh, particularly Jamie, how the process works, how the, how the protocol that we've developed for collecting footprints works. So once we've left here, um, you can basically go ahead and collect footprints. And this, as Zoe said, will be added to our database of the um, tiger footprints that we've already got. So what we're hoping this will do is it'll allow us to be able to identify unknown wild tigers in the field. So by collecting footprints here at Big Cat Rescue in, in Florida, you're helping your rescued animals um, actually help conserve endangered tigers in the wild. So they're like the cousins of their endangered species in the wild, directly contributing. This is a great way in which animals that have been rescued can actually make a contribution to conservation, even though they themselves will never be able to be released into the wild. So we're here to do the footprinting with tigers, but as wild track, we work on different species like um, polar bears, rhinos, um, tapirs, lions, the African lion, um, cheetah, and we are in the process of developing uh, algorithms for all of these animals, databases and algorithms for all these endangered species. And the software that we use is Jump uh, Statistical Visualization Software from the SAS Institute. And it's particularly great for this job because it employs both image processing, data analysis and mapping tools that we can use to take the whole process of identifying an animal back into the wild as a conservation tool. Okay, I, th I thought we'd just give a couple of slides to give you a background on who we are and what we do. Sometimes this also allows us to... Um, discriminate between males and females, sometimes you get a, a handle on the age classes, and we can also get information how are you going to know whether the conservation strategy that you put into place is being successful or not. You need to be able to know whether the numbers are increasing or declining. So getting an, a, an idea about numbers is absolutely crucial to any conservation strategy for any, any endangered species. And using footprints allows us to do that. So that is really the crux of the whole thing. 